What about making you sound better? Hi there guys, Red Light Romano in cooperation with WA Production is speaking. In this tutorial I want to show you some great mastering tips and tricks in FL Studio which can be used also in any other do any, any other do sorry for that. And yeah, you know here I have um stems for from the construction kit by Big EDM. Uh, label which is exclusively on B port and this specific construction case is, is from their pack called EDM Madness so uh, I will just play you the part of it and then we will take a look at those tips so be sure to lower the volume of of it of the video right now so yeah <laughs> And so on and so on. So uh, here I have like four great tools or plugins that can be used um, on the on the mastering channel on the master channel. Sorry, and which which what or which which which. <laughs> so you can simply make with those plugins like great stuff. Uh, without damaging damaging the overall sound of your mix. So let's take a look at the first thing here. Here it is. Here is my like super favorite favorite plugin, uh, Isotope Ozone 5 Imager. It's not the whole Isotope Ozone. We have it this one, uh, in there. We will talk about this one later. But it's only this uh imager section so how you can use this one on the master channel is that you can turn down this uh like really low frequencies and make sure that they are all uh mono because you re you really don't need those frequencies of stereo because they will ruin your mix so yeah that's a great thing uh i really advise to just Put it on your master channel and leave it there in all type of like projects because it won't damage the sound it will just make it clearer and even though you are not hearing it like immediately it can be it can do a big difference in like for example clubs or you know in some bigger audio uh, things <laughs> so yeah you can also raise it up uh, this really high frequencies or you, you know you can maybe play with those bands and like raise up whatever band you feel it should be more stereo but not the lower one okay <laughs> yeah you won't hear much but it's there it's a great thing to have it there the other plugin is called Fuffilter Pro DS. It's the DS plugin. So you may, you might be wondering why am I loading it on my master channel bus but it's because of this mastering preset that has the Fuffilter inside um, which will you can you can pick this one which will like the which will try to DS uh, vocals that are inside the music which can be applied um, if you have for example only you know like uh, like um, one file where where the instrumental and the acapella is already mixed together so you can like and there are the syllables are quite high in there you can try to reduce it by you know this uh, this preset from this specific plugin but my advice is to like uh, put the DSR in the a cappella right in the mix if you have the choice of really like you know, maybe you have a a cappella separated from the instrumental so it's better to put it on the a cappella and not on the whole mix 
with the instrumental together because it will be affecting even though you don't want it to affect and the plugin basically doesn't want to affect instrument instruments from the track but if you just put it in there it will be affected affecting instruments as well so that's the first preset but we will be using this high-end transient limiting <laughs> As you can hear, it really reduces the like high uh, high frequencies of the track, but uh, in my opinion, it's, re it's reducing too much, you know, uh, for this time for this specific um, time. Yeah, just for now. So what I will do is that, or what you can do is that you can play with these these uh, wrench knob. Uh, with this wrench knob and this threshold knob you can maybe also play a bit with those like frequency smart frequencies markers and just you know find the spot that you want to be you want to achieve and yeah you can just play it you know with it once you feel that there are like too much of those really high frequencies that that are you know hurting your ears uh, you can use this plugin because it can help you to reduce these sounds so that's the F F filter pro ds the other thing that i'm also using a lot is this req6 uh, stereo of course bar by waves you know it's uh some can say that um it's a classic equalizer well it is but it is doing a magnificent job oh yeah it is doing a magnificent job in like uh, when you apply it on your master channel you know i really like, love fab filter pro q2 eq2 and you know a bunch of other equalizers but this one this specific equalizer is doing just awesome job you know you don't need to like really you know over create things in there you just you know slightly turn like maybe higher frequencies up a bit you know you make sure that uh, those frequencies under let's say 30 hertz uh, are really off you know you can maybe slightly increase those like bass frequencies sub bass frequencies you know it's up to you this this EQ, in my opinion, is really like the final equalizer that you need, you know, to really like find the tiny spots that you need to to repair or whatever to make the sound re like really as you want, you know, to make it brilliant. So uh, this equalizer is, in my opinion, the best one for, uh, for Master Channel, you know, uh, so far maybe there are a lot of other ones but I so far I'm using this one I can really hear the difference in the in my headphones so I hope you can hear it too the last uh, think the last plugin we will take a look at is this isotope ozone 5 you know, I'm not a big fan of mastering with Isotope because I don't feel it's uh, making a good job, even though there are plenty of producers that are using it. But I feel like applying um, effects separately, uh, mainly from FabFilter or Waves on the master channel, really those you currently need is, or it it's just simply works better for me. So, uh, I won't be showing you uh, or teaching you how to use Isotope Ozone 5 here, but I wanted to tell you that once you will decide to use, for example, a multiband compressor or uh, this type of like complex plugin which has presets loaded inside, you will need to, or in case you are creating music as I'm doing, that which means that uh, from the very beginning of the project I usually I'm usually turning on all of my stuff like really loud you know it's it's uh, so the 
uh, the limiter is catching peaks from the very beginning so at the end it's really like very loud uh, you will need to turn down the volume before it goes to the isotope ozone let's say in our in our case you know because uh, it's not built for receiving really loud you know loud music and then affecting it it's built for receiving like normal you know uh, a bit of lower loudness then affecting it and then incre increasing the volume that's why the maximizer maximizer is uh, is the last step of the of the whole mastering chain you know so be sure to uh, when you will decide to use some of these plugins be sure to uh, turn down the volume by whatever uh, volume controller you have in my case in FL Studio user's case this fruit balance you know just you will turn down this volume before it goes to the the sound goes to the isotope ozone 5 and then you can just raise it up you know here or you can use this maximizer whatever you know mode you want to use but be sure to uh, do it like this because otherwise you know let's let's try something let's find a preset that could work for out track you know I'm sorry I will just loop the um, I will loop the drop and I will um, find a preset let's say we have a dance because I know electronica you know I really don't like those presets but okay uh, dance club master crisp drums with whatever you can hear that the sound is destroyed so you need to uh, turn down the input volume to left to leave the plugin enough space to properly affect and to properly work with the audio uh, it is receiving Yeah, as you can hear, uh, as I'm turning down and up uh, this uh, input button, it's not affecting the output volume because it has been maximized. <laughs> uh, you know, it, the, the volume has been turned up again, again by the maximizer, but it it fixes the damage that uh, this like uh, big uh, volume input is doing to the sound so once you will decide to use um, isotope ozone 4 5 or 6 or whatever be sure to lower the volume in case the volume is clipping already you know that's what I wanted to tell you so yeah uh, I'm not sure what you will receive for free in the description of this video but I think you will we will give or we will provide you a mastering mastering mixer channel for FL Studio from one of our packs so yeah just be sure to check the description and go for the free download link in there and thank you for watching thank you uh, thank you for watching thank you so much have a nice day and take care bye